Jaden, I'm back. It was a long day for me today, and um, so lately I have been doing so much better, and I've uh, recovered so much from the my burnout, adrenal fatigue, and anxiety. Um, but there's always um, some setbacks, and um, it'll you know things will be more challenging for a little bit and then they'll gradually get better overall and today was definitely one of those days where I was really really challenged um, I didn't have a panic attack I didn't really have um, a crash or anything like that but I was getting close um, and it really just came out of nowhere a lot of times these symptoms with adrenal fatigue and anxiety um, it just it you may not even be stressed out and it's it's just your body either it's readjusting or that it's still trying to heal itself so it's gonna go through different stages I'm not sure exactly and again I'm not a doctor or a therapist I these are just my experiences that I'm sharing um, and Yes, today was definitely another one of those days where I had a great morning. I did a great uh, workout. I went about my day. And I could just tell that there was less of that calm, that balanced, good feeling. Started, and, and I started to notice that about maybe like late morning. Um... Again, there was no triggers. I, it wasn't like I was in a stressful situation. It just, I just could start feeling like my muscles were tensing up. Um, and I just get, started getting a lot of, you know, anxiety type of thoughts. And um, I started obsessing on things in my head. And then by midday and afternoon I could feel that I was getting very sensitive um, to being out like being social and being out um, I was doing some shopping and you know I was at uh, the uh, like a outside outdoor mall where there was a lot of people and you know there's I mean there's always a lot of people down in Los Angeles but um, I was I remember walking around from store to store and I could just feel that anxious feeling of like you know god there's too many people around me and and it just started to escalate and by the time I got back to my car I could feel the anxiety and it sucked and I started to get drained I took a nap and I started having that weird you know, I, I've described this in another video that I've made. It's that weird kind of jitteriness, um, anxiousness, uh, like you're just tight everywhere. And I, you know, it was a horrible nap and I woke up from it kind of slightly in a panicky mode. I didn't have a panic attack, but, um, you know, I just felt awful. So, but... I've been through this a lot throughout this, you know, last six months, so I've learned to deal with it. So I just took some deep breaths and not let it get to me. I tried to stay really present instead of, you know, really try to deliberately get your mind in the present. Not worrying about the past or what might happen in the future, just breathe and be present now fully. Uh, that usually helps right away. And, you know, you just got to let go. You just got to do a lot of letting go, whether it's just internal letting go or like you're physically, you want to relax, do stretching and just, yeah, you just got to take a deep breath and just let go of resistance. Um, and I'm, I'm, it's been a few hours since I've woken up from my nap. Um, it's the symptoms are going away. I started getting the weird like burning and tingling all over, um, but that's also going away. Uh, I am made. I've made some plans to hang out with friends tonight. 
um, and see a movie or something to just get myself out of the house, my mind away from focusing on myself and all my sensations, and just having, you know, good friends that I could, you know, have good conversations with, and that really, really helps. Um, this is a, a strange new type of video I'm making. I've never done this where I'm just, like, in the spare of the moment going at a video um, of just describing how I feel. Um, but I figured it was a great chance to do it because I literally had, like, an ep episode and it's just fresh a couple hours ago and I, the, the, the experience is still really fresh in my head so I could describe it really well. And, um, yeah, I just thought I'd share. I know by doing research and watching other YouTube channels and stuff, like, so many people are going through this. And, um, <clears throat> it makes me feel a couple things. Like, one, I feel, you know, less scared and less vulnerable because knowing that other people are going through the same thing, you know, makes me feel better. Like, I'm not alone. Because, <clears throat> as humans, we don't want to feel alone in things because that makes things worse. And you feel isolated. And, but then also it makes me feel like, uh, I just, I, I can't even describe the feeling, but I'm just like, wow, there's like a lot of people in the world that's going through this when, you know, a couple decades ago, it wasn't this common. I mean, it just, people weren't just... You know, like right now, if I go on YouTube and I Google anxiety, there's so many people who have channels similar to, you know, some of the stuff I put out about their symptoms. And so a lot of people are going through it. And there's people who've been going through it for years. And there's like face group, uh, fa Facebook group support, countless of them. So this is definitely something I think as the general humanity um, is... Or, or one group, you know, one, a part of this whole human experience is happening right now with the whole, you know, stressed, overstressed people and anxiety disorders and panic stuff is all coming up and um, damaging our nervous system and different organs and our hormones and stuff. This is all like very common these days. Um, in fact, one of my doctors that I've, saw for this told me that 75% of his patients are all anxiety based That's the, you know they, they come in to see him for anxiety based stuff so so if you're going through it I just want you to know you know I'm going through it there's t so many people who are going through it um, so you're not alone so that's a good thing and yes you can get through it I am having an episode today but I will not let myself down because you know what I'm doing like 85% better than I was five months ago. And it's been steady gradually. It's been very gradual, but definitely steady that I'm getting better overall. So again, I'm not going to let this one, you know, setback make me feel like shit and blow my whole um, recovery. I'm going to just take a day, take a night and just accept. The fact that I had a setback and just got to move on and keep hacking at it. Um, I have lots of new goals for the new year. I want to, you know, really, really recover from this and like start getting back fully on my fitness and start making videos, you know, on my fitness and my food. And those are things that I'm really passionate about. I started my channel doing uh, my recovery journey for the anxiety and helpful tips and symptoms and stuff like that. But... My true passion lies in, you know, fitness, health, nutrition, and acting, performing, and, you know, style. So, I cannot wait to get into that. Um, but, I am I am where I am, and right now I still have, you know, some work to do on this recovery. So, just gotta accept myself um, where I am, and just keep going at this. And this whole YouTube channel... It's so helpful for me in a way because it's a way to keep myself motivated and it's a great way to reach out to others who are going through the same thing and, you know, find answers through just sharing and uh, and listening to what other people have to say. There's been people who have messaged me 
um, email me and we have gone through some really cool exchanges of information on this and it's helped me a lot and I've helped them a lot so it's really awesome um, so yeah um, so I think I will leave this video here um, and yeah I know it's kind of a weird random kind of uh, rant video I guess but uh, that's where I'm at today, and it's okay, and I hope to see you guys again in another video, and thanks so much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would really help me out if you do, um, and if you give me a like on my video, it's always appreciated, and it would also help my channel and my videos grow. Okay, uh, again, thanks for watching, have a great night guys, and I'll see you next time.